guys it is the 7th of October 2014 and today I'm going to be reviewing my skin it skin on my iPad 2 and not a new one but one I've had for about three and a half years so we can see exactly how well it holds up so let's go I got this iPad about a month after it came out and the skin it skin I got a month after that so the skin's almost as old as the iPad just in this last year is when most of the damage has happened. Like this corner has started to chip off. On the bottom here, here's the back. You can see where these cutouts are. It has started to peel. Now this is actually just the fabric and then the plastic is on top. It has started to peel back from that. A while ago I lost this top edge right here you can see where it tore and here where the cord goes in I have a light bit of damage on the edge but not bad when you look at it closely from an angle you can see all the scratches that has basically saved the back of my iPad from getting these scratches the skin is a pretty exact fit so the damage on the edges is minimal and the inside has not chipped or scraped back it's pretty firmly on there I've never had it peel or bubble on me when I first bought the skin it was around $25 now it is $34.99 for the front and back custom skin on skin it so I'm going to order a new one and I am going to peel this one off and we'll see what it's like underneath and how well it's kept up underneath the skin and if it has left any residue after three years, because they say it's supposed to be residue free. So we'll see. All right, I only get one shot at this, so let's hope it films in one take. Start at this corner. It's kind of hard to get off, honestly. Oh, there we go, there's a big chunk. Yay! It came off in two pieces. This is a lot easier. How did this even stay on? This is peeling off so easily. Done. It seems to have left very little on here. Only around the edges has it left any kind of I don't even know what to say that is but something was there on the back it is just smooth it is so smooth <laughs> the front has all these fingerprints and oh I left the button on because I prefer that raised kind of button so I'm leaving that on on the front you can see there's a little edge where I'm pretty sure it's dirt has gotten in around the edges the skin was actually hiding a bit of damage on the iPad Right here, the bezel, it's separating from the glass. You can see, oh hi, a tiny bit where it's raised up. So hopefully that doesn't become an issue. This skin was holding it in place, it seems. All in all, I am pretty impressed with it. Other than the light bit of damage on the edges, it's held up really well. Uh, for three and a half years, I'm pretty impressed. I will be rebuying it, like especially now that I've seen how well my iPad kept up because of the skin and I prefer things with skins because they feel more individualized so now I've put it in my iPad case to protect it until I get my new one I should have waited but I was really in the mood to peel it today and today's kind of slow at work which is where I am filming this and when I get my new skin I will do a video about how to put it on and maybe the process of how you order it maybe either way i hope you enjoyed this and are tempted to go get a skin for yourself i'm tempted to get one for my phone too and maybe my mom's phone those are on the cheaper side i have to look at the price but i'm lazy so maybe that i'll do later <laughs> so that's it for today thanks for watching bye bye okay we're good